Hello developers. Today we are going to build generative AI based automated image captioning and visual Q&A engine. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy One Click Install Kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is image captioning one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to build your own generative AI based automatic image captioning and visual Q&A engine. We will be using Blip, a new pre-trained framework for unified vision language understanding and generation in this solution. It is helpful in achieving state-of-the-art results on a wide range of vision language tasks. So everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. Over the next few minutes, we will cover three key aspects in this video. First, download and installation of the kit. Second, demonstration of a code snippet exercise. Third, the kit solution source. Let's start by installing the kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. You will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can check out the deployment information here and click on this one click installer to start downloading the kit. You will get a zip file. Just say show in folder. Extract the contents of this folder. Double click the folder. Click on this batch file. Say more info. Run anyway. This will start setting up the kit automatically onto your systems. So once the kit is successfully set up onto your systems, just say yes to run the kit and a Jupyter Notebook will automatically open in front of you. But before we go ahead and discuss the details of this kit, let us do a simple code snippet exercise first. For that, just head over to file and say new notebook. Also, let's open canny.openweaver.com. This helps you jumpstart your application development. Here, we will try to do a simple exercise on determining the quality of an image. So for that, I will put up my query as identify quality of an image using open CV and hit enter. Then I will try to go into the code snippet tab and look for a suitable code that I would like to copy paste into my notebook. So I'll pick up the first one right away from here and paste it in my notebook. As I paste the code here, since we know Python is an indented language, we will keep all these left aligned and now choose a suitable image. So I have an image in my folder under the name one dot png i will just change the name and i'll also show you the image that i am actually going to use in this folder this is the one dot png image that i'm just trying to check the sharpness for basically the edges and all that quality so heading back to my notebook I will run the code to print the sharpness. I will just say print sharpness. And then I would see that it will give me a 5.41 uh, float value. So primarily this Laplacian is what uh, helps in determining the sharpness of the image. And the more the higher the value, the higher is the sharpness or the edges are pretty uh, intense. So this is a very, very simple exercise that you can also do. And now let's 
go ahead and understand the solution so what does a solution hold in place for us so first of all in the solution we have done all the primary imports so uh, we have our transformers library which is an essential one for natural language processing and uh, we are using the blip processor blip for conditional generation and blip for question answering then we are using radio for interfacing torch for deep learning frameworks etc and further we first have loaded our blip processor from your sales blip image captioning base so that we have loaded into captioning underscore processor similarly we have also loaded your blip for conditional generation into captioning model then we have a function called caption which is taking an image and converting it into rgb format after it has done the conversion uh, of the image into the required format the captioning processor is being applied on the image and you are get you your image is converted into a tensor format so then this tensor format is used to generate the required caption for the image and after the decoding is uh, done on the image tensor the same is being returned from this caption function then for your visual q a you again load your uh, blip vqa base uh, blip processor into processor and blip for question answering into the model then your q a function takes an image as well as the question that you are answering i mean you are entering as your query regarding the image the same process is being followed the image is first converted into the rgb format and then the processor is being applied on your image as well as the question and you then uh, get the tensor i mean the image is converted into the tensor form the same is used to generate the required output uh, once uh, your decoded format is converted the same is being returned from this q and a function further we have the interface the the basically this is your automatic image captioning and visual q and a engine so this heading the two tabs that are being used one is for captioning and another is for visual q and a that are presented here so all those interfacing the image being uploaded and whatever is being generated as a result are showcased here so we now try and check the solution source and see how it helps in captioning the image so for this i will pick up let's say this is image of a dog itself and first i will just submit it to the model and see how does the model respond when i directly input a image to the model it says it's a, a small white dog with a pink t-shirt let me try some other image it says the teacher standing in front of her class we'll try another third image can try and see how does the model respond to this so it's mentioned keys with fix and fix on a white bag all right we'll check out the second uh, tab where we can actually you know ask questions Let's do some visual q and a so i will input this image that i had captured from my own camera and ask it where is the dog standing let us see once we submit whether the model is able to respond or not so it says on rocks okay let me try some other image how many mice are there in the number image let's check hmm it is able to do the counting as well so that uh, it is able to give us 
visual answers i mean visual uh, based on visual questions it is able to give us answers and also do captioning for the image so i hope this helps and thank you so much hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the image captioning kit and many other ready to use kits in the description of this video head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence blockchain gaming and many more try out candy kits now hit that subscribe button and join us at the open viewer community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects